Hi, my name is Jenny Plunkett, and I'm a user success engineer at Edge Impulse. Today, I will be demonstrating how you can get started building your own machine learning object detection applications for the NVIDIA Jetson Nano using Edge Impulse. Edge Impulse is the complete machine learning development platform, from creating and labeling your data set, to training your machine learning model, from testing your model, and finally deploying back onto your Edge device, all can be done within the Edge Impulse Studio. Learn more at edgeimpulse.com. To build the object detection use case that I'll be demonstrating for you today, I took images of various toiletries around my house, like toothbrushes, toothpaste, or soap bottles. Then using the Edge Impulse Studio and command line tools, I labeled each object in the image, trained the machine learning model on those objects, and finally deployed the model back onto the Jetson Nano to classify objects on the Edge using an attached webcam. If you have any questions during the demo today, please ask via the live chat box and I'll get to them after this video. This is the Edge Impulse dashboard. For every dashboard, that is equivalent to one machine learning use case. So the use case that I'm showing you today is the toiletries object detection use case. The Edge Impulse dashboard takes you step by step from collecting all of your data to training your model and deploying it back onto your device. This is the page where you can also add other collaborators if you're on a team, for example, or you can download the intermediate block output for everything, including all the TF Lite models and intermediate training data. Moving on to the devices page, this is where you can connect your various devices in order to start collecting data. In this case, we see that I have two devices that we can connect. I have my mobile phone that I can use to take images on or record accelerometer data or microphone data. I also have a webcam connected to my NVIDIA Jetson Nano, which is running via the Edge Impulse CLI. Through the CLI, I can take images in real time through the web browser from the webcam on my Jetson Nano in order to collect data and start labeling objects. Speaking of data acquisition, the data acquisition tab is where I can start collecting all my data, labeling the objects in the images, and uploading more data if I'd like to. Let's take another image right now directly from the webcam on our NVIDIA Jetson Nano. I have a toothbrush and a toothpaste directly on the floor, and you can see the camera feed. I'm moving it, and I'm going to take a sample, and I'm just going to call it toiletries. Start sampling. It's taking the image. I can see the now that I have a image with a toothpaste and toothbrush, and I'm going to edit the labels. So this is a toothpaste. I'm gonna make sure it's all directly in the bounding box. And this is a toothbrush. Save labels, and there we go. Those are two objects in our image. Now that I have a pretty evenly robust labeled data set of my objects of toothpaste, soap, and toothbrushes, I'm going to move on to designing our machine learning impulse. The impulse design page is the complete ML development cycle in a graphical format. It goes from left to right from your raw data into your signal pre-processing block, the purple neural network object detection block where you train your model, and finally the green output block where we detect what objects are actually in each image. The image pre-processing block page takes a raw image and translates it into a format that the machine learning network could then train on. So it processes all the features of the image, and we can also see how long this will take to perform on the edge device. The object detection page is where we perform our machine learning model training. Um, this is all different parameters into a Python function that we have written by default in Edge Impulse. Um, none of this was written custom, but I do have the ability to write custom code if I'd like. But in this case, I'm doing 50 epochs or 50 training cycles at a learning rate of 0.15 with a score threshold of 0.5. I'm using the MobileNet V2 neural network architecture, and I've already trained it by clicking on this green button right here. Um, say I know how to write Python and I want to use my own code, I can switch into expert mode as a, with a click of a button, and then again, click start training with the same green button. And I've already done that, and I already have a 98.1% precision score based on all of the um, data that I already have labeled and trained on. If I want to see what each individual classification looks like, if I want to look at this 49% accuracy one, for example, I can click Show Classification. It'll open up a new tab where I can directly see what the classification results look like in real time. So we can see here that this image, um, it only identified soap correctly. It didn't see the toothbrush. So that means that we might need to add more data to our model in order to get it just that much more accurate. 
I can also classify brand new images directly from my web browser from the webcam on the NVIDIA Jetson Nano by sampling them the same way we did earlier on our data acquisition page um, by taking a new sample and classifying it live on the web. So I'm going to take a picture of my Dub soap bottle and the toothbrush sample, and we'll see if it gets it right. Classifying. Passing it through, and there we go. It got both the soap and the toothbrush correct. Say I want to add a fourth object to my machine learning model, but I really like how this model is currently performing. I can version my project at its current point in time via the Edge Impulse versioning tool. All of the intermediate data, configuration, and results get stored into its own little version, and I can restore it at any point in time to a new project via clicking the buttons on this tab. Um, I can also make this version of this project publicly available if I wanted to share this on my social media channels or have other members of my team use the same data Data without affecting my model. The deployment page is where I would usually go to start building my Edge Impulse SDK and integrate machine learning into my Edge application, but because I'm using the Jetson Nano, I'm going to use the Edge Impulse Linux CLI today in order to download my model and start classifying directly on the Edge. So I've logged into my Jetson Nano via SSH and I've typed the command Edge Impulse Linux Runner in, and here we are, we're building the uh, binary for the built model. Um, and this is default with an Edge Impulse. Um, this is just making a proof of concept application for object detection. So now that the machine learning object detection CLI application is built on the Jetson Nano, I am looking in the webcam to see what objects are in frame. And there's nothing yet, but as I pointed at the floor, you'll start to see toothbrush, and then you'll see some soap and toothpaste all pop up on the CLI. And now we're running object detection directly on the edge. Thank you for joining my demo today, and if you have any questions that I didn't answer in the chat, please email us at hello at edge.